All right, going to do the spotlight shoot today. In order to do that, you need a conical snoot. This one's by Wellmaking. You can get more expensive ones, but this will get it done. You can see the cookies or gobos as they're called. I'm using the top center one, the spotlight. I've used the louver one here with Tawan. Great shot with her. And also, I don't know what you call this, bubbles maybe with Nani Melendez ended up in Photo Vogue. So pretty good there. So let's get going. All right, so I do have the snoot mounted on a C-stand over my right shoulder. And as you can see, the first shot, test shot, a little underexposed. The beauty dish to the left was really just to light her face on the left side, maybe her shoulders. And I've got a rim light on the right side to light the right side. So I'm just adjusting the snoot right now. The modeling lamp is on, and I could see the position of the light on her in the room. You just can't see it here in the video. Uh, but the modeling lamp will help with that, will help you position it. So you can see here, I raised the power of my beauty dish and we got a little bit better result there. I'm really, I'm going to move it off so that it's not shining on the background at all. It's gridded, the beauty dish is. So I really want to focus that light just to get the beauty dish light on her, uh, to mix it with the spotlight a little bit and then have that rim light on the right side. I believe the snoot was about a one quarter power, Godox 8400, and we pretty much got it dialed here. So the beauty dish was powered at about 1 8 power along with the rim light on the right side, both at 1 8 power using Godox 8300s. And we've got a really nice balance of light here. Uh, really got it dialed in. That rim light on the right side is a little bit hot. You can see it's blowing out the lighting on her arm a little bit. So I did bring that down a little bit uh, just so you don't want to blow out those rim lights. So as you can see here, I'm moving around. I'm trying different angles. Again, that snoot is over to my right off camera uh, with the beauty dish just filling in those shadows and it's given me uh, some pretty nice shots, but I really wanted a cleaner spotlight. And really what I had imagined in my mind is the spotlight just being on the background and not hitting her at all and the beauty dish lighting her with the rim light over her right shoulder or her left shoulder there. So you can see there, that gave me exactly what I had imagined in my mind. Really clean right there with just the spotlight hitting the background, no shadow, beauty dish lighting her with the rim light to her off to camera right. And take the, yeah, take your right hand. I love the arch of the back, yes. Yes. Okay, so we're going to change up position here. I'm going to adjust my beauty dish just a little bit to make sure I have the optimum lighting. Always remember to do that. Raise it or lower it when your model changes position. Notice I have the C-stand there with the snoot is all the way up to the ceiling and it's angled downward so that it's hitting the background but not hitting her. Uh, so we've got that dialed in really well at this point. So we are getting a shadow now just because she is standing up and some of the spotlight is hitting her. Still a uh, beautiful shot, beautiful posing by Paris. And with the one finger save, I could see that thing in slow motion hitting the ground, <laughs> but I did make the save. So 
So that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the shoot. Thanks for hanging in there. Give it a like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and have a wonderful day.